Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Tooth. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a request for the Violet Lightning, who wanted uh, personal colors on the Domnomidus, and yeah, that's what we got. Um, they, I think it takes to them fairly well. Just the, the big purple stripes down the sides really do something for it. Reminds me of some Transformer I had once, I want to say, but I cannot remember which one or, you know, what character it was, but just... This particular black, gold, and purple uh, combo with the purple stripes down the side might not be one I own. Might, I might be thinking Nemesis Prime when you get down to it. Or Shattered Glass Optimus Prime, more, more specifically. But yeah, either way, it's a good color scheme. It works. I like it. And uh, oh, so far, so good. No, I've got Nova Gundam uh, covering for me. Maelstrom uh, went out front and is unfortunately already dead. Uh, Spidey Wings in the Jetta, so he's probably on the front lines, and I am, uh, I am, uh, you know, hanging back here and shooting things. A little bit of a rough start, because they are focusing me, but, and I'm hitting Nova in the back, so, yeah, just, I'm, ah, call it warming up, because ultimately I do do pretty well, so, eh, but, yeah, it's, it's, like I said, just warming up, basically, and, let's see, yep, I'm dead just I also just got too stubborn and even though they were you know returning fire pretty heavily I just planted my feet and tried to land as many shots as possible Nomi just has pretty good uh, pretty good defense and pretty good uh, recoil defense but yeah just uh, can't necessarily plant your feet there and stay sometimes you can you saw that uh, uh, Jim Bulldog round I think it was I ran a while back where I was able to just run this like a classic early GBO2 round and stay on this hill and uh, smash everything. And with, you know, with uh, my team, you know, out in front, and Maelstrom's in his ball, Noakes him on, so that's always a plus. Um, let's see, can I? Yes! And I didn't, uh, I don't think I hit Nova. Maybe the splash got him, but I am, you know, getting kills now. There's one. Yeah, so... Yeah, with the team, uh, with the team all engaging closely, and I'm getting a little bit better at not hitting them, and, and using the cluster shot, uh, which doesn't stun them when I think I will. Uh, yeah, we're starting to uh, get on a roll here, and you know, to be honest, this would not be possible if I did not have a team that was, you know, trying to ensure I got a good video for this and was providing me with all the backup possible and as much defense possible, getting in, you know getting in the enemy team's face to keep them uh keep them busy for me so that's that's kind of uh, the uh that's kind of the whole thing it's i don't uh you know if you've got a good team and you've got somebody who can if you've got a good team that can do this for you this will work but this is kind of special circumstances because i've got i've got you know i've got good friends i i i am very lucky and you know many thanks to all of them for backing me up and making this video possible because yeah like I said, uh, just, well, you saw how I was getting picked apart at the beginning, and then they all just kind of coordinated for me, and it was just amazing, so. And we've got uh, a minute and a half until Ace is selected. This is an Ace round, so. And yeah, Ace is worth triple points to kill, and their kills and assists are worth triple points, so the winning formula is to keep your Ace alive and keep the enemy Ace dead. And so, ah, there's another kill. Yeah, but my aim's pretty good here. And the uh, uh, Nomadus does have that gigantic heat glaive for up-close defenses. 3,100 uh, damage from a giant bazooka. I'd say that's pretty solid. And I managed to uh, hit that uh, Gazome with a uh, tackle as it tried to escape. Was not able to get it with the splash in the bazooka. I think it was the uneven terrain that stopped that. But And now it's out of the uh, sky again and about to die. Oh, I think Spidey's... Nope, not quite. But that is fine. I can return fire on the Zissa that is uh, beating me up. But to be honest, I took that death because I thought there was a pretty good chance after that nice little rally that I could become the ace. So that being that being the case, it was probably a good time to take a death so I can come back fresh in about 30 seconds. So I probably won't try hanging on the hill anymore. I might do one more, but... Uh, you know, there. What the second I'm, uh, uh, I'm ace. If I am ace, and I'm pretty sure I'm ace, they will be focusing me down like they were at the beginning of the round. So I will probably have to change my tactics. Looks like I'm just going to be stubborn for the moment, though, and get back up there. But again, since my team's engaging fairly, uh, fairly close, that may work for a little bit. 
I do remember ending up not on the hill towards the end of the round, so let's let's see how that works. That Gazome. Let's see, the Zissa is their ace, so we will... Uh, uh, that is not a bad matchup. It has that annoying damage over time, but that's about the worst it can do to me, really. It can throw missiles my way, and there's a Gundam with a uh, Hyper Hammer, which is now on the ground. And I think... Uh, yeah, I th the enemy ace is down, so yeah, we've got a good lead. Yeah, this Gundam, is, uh, it's got a uh, beam rifle with super napalm and the hyper hammer. Pretty good combination. I just got an assist. That is good and that is fine. Because, you know, always best to let the ace take the kills, but when we've got a, a lead like we've got, it doesn't matter as much. And sometimes, sometimes stuff just happens when, you know, when everybody is focusing something, you know, you do, the kill just happens. Sometimes, like, in target shuffle, that gets really frustrating because we had just a string of target shuffles Friday night that where, yeah, everybody was taking kills, especially for uh, every time, every time Nurse Gundam wound up as the, uh, as the target, we, uh, we all wound up stealing kills, uh, uh, from her by just over-focusing things. Like, it's really, it's really kind of hard to do target shuffle with, say, um, machine gun sometime because it is... It is really hard, especially when multiple people are firing on a target, to, you know, keep your damage precise. Um, you can easily just knock somebody down as far as possible if you, uh, you know, if you're paying enough attention and focused. But if two people are firing, all bets are off. Speaking of bets being off, yeah, they, they are... Uh, the rest of the team was over to the right uh, fighting, and uh, I was... Uh, they all had a clear shot at me, so I just got... I just got melted. Um, I kind of like that uh, color scheme on that Gundam, the the like tan deserty head with the uh, weird uh, with the aqua kind of camo looking uh, body. Interesting combination, but yeah. So yeah, I got killed. Doesn't matter super uh, much at this point because we've got an almost two to one lead. I I don't, again I don't like to run like super one sided matches. But, uh, this is, uh, we're not gonna, uh, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna get around this good in the Nomadus uh, again anytime soon. And there's another kill. Oh, somebody's running 50 points down. No sin in that. Um, 35 seconds left. I'd love to take out the Zissa, but at this point, you know, anything I can take out, I'm gonna take out. And that's a Mark II, I believe. And I'm gonna use the heavy stagger shot on that. Because, of course, as you, uh, spoilers in case you, uh, I don't know if you haven't played Code Fairy. The Dom Nomadus is using the uh, salvaged cannon from Demazir Sonnen's Hildolfer. So, yeah. And, yep, fired that a little shallow, so probably no last second kills. Maybe this one. Yep, there we go. Good note to go out on. But, yeah, so, yeah, that is a Hildolfer cannon mounted on a Dom with, I think, like the drive section of a gallop on the back to keep it uh, moving. And kind of, I th feel like it's been set up to be the proto Zamel as well. But yeah, Maelstrom actually outdamaged me by, I think, a couple thousand points. 117, 172 for him. 114, 488 for me. So yeah, well, uh, we were definitely both uh, chugging along pretty well there. 79, 95 points, uh, 7 kills, 2 deaths. I, like I said, I think that's probably the best Nomadus round I'm going to get anytime soon. So, uh... That is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! Eventually, I do want to see MS Igloo and see if it is it presents the characters and the ideas any better than, uh, uh, than G Generation Genesis does. Just because, yeah, that, I was on that. It just didn't click uh, for me in Genesis. It, uh, the fact that yeah, it was just basically uh, the MS Igloo sections had one plot, which is that people uh, uh, people decide that their heart and soul is invested in faulty war machines and then suicidally decide to prove a point about them over and over, which, I mean, geez, if all, if all these talented people decided they were going to, you know, die on the hill of this ridiculous, you know, exploding mobile suit is, uh, is the best thing ever, no wonder Zeon lost the war, geez.